Entertainment, Amber. After he dies, they decide to share their strange inheritance with the world. What's it going to be like to go into the structure and not see tanks anymore? I don't know if it's so much as seeing tanks as it's the, the smell of the, the diesel and the grease that I really love. Having agreed to donate the collection to the Collins Foundation, Allison and her half-brothers must watch some of their dad's tanks be auctioned off in order to raise $10 million to erect a museum in his honor. But as the auction nears the end, it appears receipts are still short of that target. At least one of five super rare tanks the little fields fervently hope to see in the museum may have to be sold. But which one? The bidders get to choose. Only one of the five tanks attracts a bid above the confidential reserve. It's the eight-ton German half-track, a hot ticket from World War II. And it goes for $1.2 million. The auction passes the 10 million mark. For the little fields, it's mission accomplished. Is this what your dad would want? Are you convinced? I think this is definitely the best option that we have available to keep the core collection together and have his name attached to it. When we are through with the Collings Museum, this will arguably be the finest collection of its sort anywhere. And it'll be the Littlefield Collection. It'll be the Littlefield Collection. We told you about Jacques Littlefield's July 4th tradition when he would haul out an M60 patent tank and stage a fight between the tank and the civilian car. It's so much fun. We thought you might like to see another of Jacques' confrontations. <laughs> All right in your own backyard. What a dad. I'm Jamie Colby for Strange Inheritance. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, you can't take it with you. He was at the center of a scandal. The national pastime.